Bob Woodward, you've written three books on the Bush administration, the war, and here they are on the screen. 2002, Bush at War. 2004, Plan of Attack. 2006, State of Denial. In that trilogy, did you see any change or wavering in the level of certitude about the correctness of going no, to Iraq? No, no. I mean, but Bush jumps in his chair when he talks about the duty to free people and bring democracy to the world. But the, the problem here is that we haven't been getting enough of the truth about what's been going on in the ground. And uh, just to step back, uh, you know, uh, Iraq is not just a philosophical issue, uh, particularly for our fellow citizens who are there. It is a war, a violent war. And if you look at the precedents here, I mean, look at Vietnam or any other insurgency, you cannot uh, prop up a government that does not have the support of its people or does not have some sort of process to settle the political issues without violence. Iraq is an incredibly violent place. Uh, how do you get out of this? How do you solve the political problem? And I mean, you know, even General Petraeus says, look, we don't, uh, we can't solve the political problem militarily. Well, where does this government go, the Maliki government? How do they function? How do they govern? And you get into the uh, details of how this place works, and there's no realistic prospect. People who are in the administration say this is a five or ten year process to create this government, prop it up, whatever you want to call. So we're, we're on a uh, timeline for some sort of fix uh, that is way, way in the distant future. And is there five or ten years of patience in the American political process? No, there is not. Um, and you, you talk to lots of Republicans, what David rightly refers to as the 30 Republicans who uh, in their soul are in a kind of despair. Would you agree Absolutely. about where we are on this war? Those people are going to move at some point and they're going to say, we have to, we have to end this. And what, what is absent in all of this is some sort of effort to achieve political consensus between the, pro the president and the Democrats to come up with some sort of glide plane. So it, we don't have, uh, in January 2009, helicopters leaving from the roof of the embassy. Is there any way to achieve in Washington a bipartisan consensus on what to do about Iraq? It, it's based on this unknown. I don't think there's any possibility that within five years that we're going to see a drastic diminution of violence. So we could be losing 125 Americans every month for five years. I mean, on this, the other hand, politically but, but impossible. But, but, so you think, okay, get out. On the other hand, no. if we leave, glide plane. Well, if we leave, we could see 250,000 Iraqis uh, die. You had the John Burns quotation earlier in the program. So are we willing to prevent 10,000 Iraqi deaths a month? at the cost of 125 Americans. That's a tough moral issue, but it's also a tough uh, national interest issue because we don't know what the consequences of getting out are. And the frustration of watching the debate in Washington, very few people are willing to, to gra grapple with those two facts, that there's gonna, the, the surge will not work in the short term, but getting out will be cataclysmic. And you see politicians on both sides evading one of those two facts, but you've got to grapple with them both. And, and, and one of the things that the president said at this session uh, that, that David was at and I was at as well was that he intends to make the case that, look, this is going to be a disaster if we get out. He didn't say it in exactly those terms, but I think he's going to start making, in many cases, the negative case. Look at what Iraq will look like if we leave. We have a moral obligation to the Iraqis to stay. And the problem, though, is we don't know. People can say, oh, it's going to be a disaster. I mean, you, you, you cite numbers which you have pulled out of the air of 10,000 dying. I mean, that, that's, that, I, where does that come from? Well, A, it comes from John Burns. Second, it comes well, from no, national intelligence. Say 10, well, well, no, no, but it talks about genocide. Yeah. So I just picked out 10,000 out of the air. But, but we've got the national intelligence now. estimate says that. <laughs> Well, most people, as Burns reports, say it'll get much, much worse. So that's the, that's the dilemma. But, but David Brooks, you, you will hear a lot of people will say, you know, the administration has made misjudgments before about <clears throat> WMD, about the level of troops needed, about being greeted as liberators. Right. They could be wrong yeah. about what would flow from a redeployment of American troops. Absolutely, they could be wrong. And, and so we, we've, and, and it could be that peace will break out. But I think if you look at Iraq, you see 
four or five civil wars going on at once. You see Shia fighting each other. You see the Sunni Shia thing. It could be that there's, this is just a process they need to go through, and there's no way we can stop it in any case. I think Joe Biden was very honest this week. He said it's a moral failure if we leave, but we're going to have to do it. That at least is grappling with the issue. Steve, I want to read a quote from your book in a second, but Bob Woodward, last week out in this program, I cited a piece you wrote in the Washington Post about the head of the CIA, General Hayden, ranking threats to Iraq security and had al-Qaeda last. A uh, senior intelligence official sent us a statement saying he was not rank ordering the causes of violence. He does not list al-Qaeda last. Uh, well, he list, at, at that moment, he listed it last, and that's, uh, and that's all I said. And uh, clearly there's a debate about whether it's al-Qaeda, is it sectarian violence, is it criminality, is it all of these things. The point is, uh, in, in that report, it was General Hayden saying late last year, that the situation of the government governing seems irreversible. Now, that is a giant word, irreversible, meaning we can't change it, whether he, he said in the short run Did or the long run. Did he walk that back at all in, in congressional well, he, testimony? Well, he's tried to, he's tried to uh, walk it back, but he was being incredibly candid in that session with the Iraq study Do you group. believe the administration has begun to emphasize al-Qaeda much more than sectarian violence in dealing with Iraq? Well, sure, because it, uh, it, it, the, the president regularly says, look, uh, we're fighting them there, so we don't have to fight them here. And uh, if you were to ask Admiral McConnell about that, uh, you know, there is, there is a kind of loose connection, but there's no evidence well, that's what that somebody is on, over there in Iraq getting ready to go here.